Alrighty, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be doing a guide for the LR free to play Vegito Blue. Now, yes, you heard that right. There is a free LR Vegito Blue that you can get within Dokkan and it's going to take a couple steps. Uh, but in today's video, I'm going to try and make it as easy as possible for you and kind of streamline the process and give you exactly what you're going to need in order to get this character done. Now, before we get started, I just want to make sure that it is known that this character is going to take a bit of work. And uh, the only real kind of grind to it is we just have to farm a lot of gems, right? Now, thankfully for you guys, I have put out guides on both of those. But in today's video, we will be going to each stage that I would use to farm these up directly. Uh, but with all that being said, if you do find this guide useful today, and if you are able to obtain Vegito Blue using these steps, uh, I would appreciate your support with a like and a subscribe. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty, so the first thing we need to do is look over here at the Supreme Kai stones in order to obtain the first set of copies of Vegito. So you can see here there are going to be six, and the math on this is you're going to be needing a total of 180 of these Supreme Kai stones. Now, that might seem like a lot, but it's honestly not that bad, because if you look at the old, like, kind of dated methods, uh, these would be dropping at, like, a rate of one to two at a time, but with the quest update and, and with new areas like Area 28, Area 29, and uh, above, these are actually dropping in quantities of 30 now. So what we really need to lock in on is getting six of these missions done. And what I'm going to do here is pull up the information from the wiki. You can see we have right here. Uh, we have a bunch of different drops that have 30. So I will leave a link for this down in the description if you need it. But what you can do is kind of just screenshot something in this video or whatever you want to do. And this will go ahead and make things easy. So what I would recommend that you do is just go to area 28 and then do some of these right here. So you can see on area stage two, or, uh, stage two of this one, all you have to do is level up one link skill. That's super easy. Just take a character that has a level one link and you should be good to go. Uh, eventually, after doing this like maybe one to two to three times, probably just one, uh, you will be able to get the 30 right there. And then what we have to do is deal three million or more damage with a single attack and clear a stage. So I will go ahead and show you how to do that here in just a moment. Uh, but what we would have to do is uh, just find like a good team but if you don't have a team that you don't think is capable of doing three million damage uh, i will also show you a workaround for that so keep that in mind uh three million damage right there is 60 and then we have to do the same thing right here and we are already up to 150 and then we go to area 32 or area 28 stage six and then we just level up another link skill and then boom we are already done we are at 180 and we have enough so uh, that is super, super simple. I don't think I need to explain to you guys how to do a link level, but what I will show you how to do is do the 3 million damage in one attack, just in case your team is not the best, right? So let's go ahead and go over back to the Dokkan side of things, and I'll show you how to do that. All right, so now that we're back over on the Dokkan side of things, let's go ahead and take a look and see what we need to do. So you guys can see we are over here on 28-3. Uh, just to back out again, I just want to make sure we see that all the way. 28-3, this is the stage that we are going to be doing, and we'll be using the full free-to-play Ginyu Force team because this is usually just a good benchmark to have. So what are we going to do to get the 3 million damage, or rather guarantee we get the 3 million damage in one attack? Well, what we're going to be doing is bringing an attack up item. So the first thing we want to do is go find a Bulma item like this or a Bulma with the cigarette, whichever one you guys have more of, I would say you do that. And then what I want you to do is bring a couple orb changing items. So this Chi Lai is going to change the board to AGL. This is going to change it to tech, and then this is going to change it to STR. But we don't want to do that because we have uh, less of those. Uh, what I would want to do is bring a Deborah cookie for physical in case we get one of the... Oh, uh, actually, no, we wouldn't because we don't have the other free-to-play one. Um, let's just do another attack up item. We'll use this uh, this bull because this is going to be attack 20% uh, up. That'll be fine. So that's what we want to do right here. Let's go ahead and do that. And we're going to hop into the stage. And then what we want to do is put, we can just keep it on auto. I'm like 90% sure. Yeah, because it's just one fight. So we can uh, auto the board. Well, actually, no, you wouldn't want to auto the board because you want to collect the gems while you're at it. So that does not hurt. Uh, make sure that you are doing that. And then we are going to hop into this specific fight. And then once we get into this fight, this is where the magic happens, right? So now that we're here, we have, uh, let's see, what items did we bring? We brought attack up items, right? So first thing you want to do is pop the Bulma. Then what you want to do is pop this right here. And then what we'll do is we'll put Birder in the front, and then we will use the Chilai items that we mentioned earlier to change the board to AGL. And then however many we need is however many we need. We can go ahead and do two of these because we have two. Might as well. And now we have over 17 orbs, and that will be more than enough for Birder to do a respectable attack stat, and we should be good to go. So now, when we do this attack right here, Birder is going to be doing over 6 million damage. So there's a very high chance that this is going to be over 3 million, and this is 16 million, so there we go. 
So that is how you do the 3 million damage in one attack, and then you would want to rinse and repeat this process for any of the other stages that you would want to do this on. Uh, if I pull up the Supreme Kai Trial, we had to reset the PC in the middle of this recording, so that's always fun. But if we pull up the Supreme Kai Trial, you would want to do this method for any other stage that has this specific proc, and you would also get some blue incredible gems while you are at it. But that is obviously not going to be everything. Uh, what you would also want to do is go back and do like stage one and make sure you get that link level like I talked about earlier. So that is how we are going to do that. And then like I said, we are going to have to get the three copies. So if we go over here back to global, what we would do after we have all 180 of these doing all those specific methods that I told you about, like I said, if we go back here really quickly, we can pull up the Supreme Kai trial and then we are over here doing all that fun stuff. So when we do all this, uh, we are going to get, uh, we want to do the next one on 28.5. And then we'd want to do it again on uh, 28.8. So keep that in mind, do that three times, doing that specific process, and you should be good to go. Now you might be saying, I don't have those items, how do I get them? Well, that's very simple. What we'd want to do is go back, we'll go back to JP, because this is where I have more treasure to buy. Uh, you can go to the Zenny shop and make sure you get these support items that would be towards the bottom. So you can see right here, the attack up items should be right down here. The Chi-Li items are right there. You can buy as many as you need. And then there's these are all of the orb changing items. And then also the attack up items like a Bulma all right here. So make sure you just go to the Zenny tab and you will be able to buy as many as you need in specific for uh, this instance. So like I said, that's what we need to do. So now that we have all 180 of these specific uh, Vegito, or, uh, these Supreme Kai stones, what we want to do is buy out as many Vegitos as we need. So in this case, it's going to be, let's just buy them right here. <clears throat> we buy all six of these. And this is going to be our first copy that we would use. So now what we want to do is go to the character list and then do like our normal process for uh, like doing a character on, glo on uh, the game, right? So now what we want to do is go right here and then we are going to feed the dupes into this specific copy. So save these ones for now and we're just gonna make him a UR. Um, now, this is the part of the video where I have to tell you, there are two ways that we can go about this. One is going to require a lot, a lot, a lot more grinding for incredible gems and, the, and then the other method is a little bit more resource heavy where we would just be using Elder Kai's, right? So in theory, what you can do now that you have all these copies is just Kai your way all the way up to um, to SA20 or SA25 with the EZA, but that is not what we would we'll be talking about in this video. So whatever number I give you in this specific, for almost everything, if you just wanna do it with Kai's, you have to divide it a bit, right? So that is what we're gonna have to talk about now. So now that we've gotten to this part where we need these metals, uh, thankfully, uh, the game has made it a little bit easier for us now. And what we can do is rather than farming up the Supreme Kai trial with like having to have fierce battle units and specific link sets for uh, characters, what we can do is just farm them up with gems. So if we go down here to the green incredible gems, I know everything always comes back to the incredible gems, but you can see here, we can buy these Patara medals with no limit, right? For 70 per, but what you want to do, you want what you want to make sure you do before you buy those is if there's any at a lower price, you want to take a look and make sure you get those before doing that. But we're scrolling to the bottom, there are no more Patara medals to buy. So what we're going to be doing is getting the ones that are on 70 with no limit. So what we're going to need for this first copy copy is 70. So if we do 70 of these, that is going to cost us roughly 4,900 gems. Now, if you want to do this twice, it's going to cost you 9,800 for 140 to do this, right? But keep in mind, we also have to make them a TUR, so we're going to need 100 of them. So what we would need is 7,000 incredible gems. So if you want to do this fully free to play and do it twice uh, to make him SA20, then you would need 14,000 incredible gems to get him all the way up. So this is why I tell you, I recommend that you just use Kai's and do this one time. So get 100 of these, which is going to cost you 7,000 incredible gems. And how do you do that? You might be asking. Well, that's where we're here for, right? So now what we want to do is go back to the quest mode in order to farm up the incredible gems that we are going to need. So we go to quest. And then, like I said, I've done a stage on specifically how to do these, but we want to go to 38. And then we want to play this stage right here, right? So keep that in mind. Uh, we'll go back to JP for this specific bit. But what we want to do is just keep grinding 38 over and over and over again, right? Because um, we're going to need a lot of these gems, like a lot, a lot, a lot. So keep that in mind as we are playing this. Uh, you're going to need to get as many of these as possible throughout our run. So now we just want to go in here and then make sure you want to bring units that are emphasizing crit damage because this might take a little bit for you. Uh, but what if you what you could do in theory, is grind 30, 31, 4, and 31, 4 as well would be good because you'd be getting, uh, you'd be getting blue and green incredible gems at the same time, but the rate isn't going to be as good. So keep that in mind. Uh, this is going to be the best stage to grind this over and over again. And then once we are at 7,000 total of these incredible gems, uh, that is when you're going to be good to go. So keep in mind, uh, this potentially can drop 100. Um, so 
<clears throat> that is a possibility. So <laughs> at the minimum, you're going to need to run this 70 times. At the maximum, you would need to run it 200 times, I think. No, because it would be 30. So you'd have to run it like a bunch, right? So right there, we got 30. Keep in mind, you could put a boost on. You might get a power level bonus. And that is kind of how we would do this specific part, right? So what we want to do is just keep grinding green incredible gems over and over and over again until we are at the copy that we were, until we are content with how many we would want, right? So keep that in mind. Uh, we would need 7,000 total to do all of that. And then the next stage, we're, we're going to have to grind more of these because we want to buy more copies from the Baba Shop if we go back here. If we go back to the Baba Shop where we were, we're going to have to get more incredible gems for <laughs> to buy out the copies of these. So when I said this was a grind, I wasn't kidding. Because we can also buy an unlimited amount of these for 777 gems a piece. So keep that in mind. Uh, that this is going to be a lot of work. But if you just dedicate like a day of grinding this game where you're normally doing other things, just lock in on green incredible gems. Find any source of them that you can get. And then when you have as many as you want, you can go ahead and be good to go. So like I said, um, the guide's not over yet. But that is what we would want to focus on for maxing this guy out. Now, personally, honestly, I recommend grinding gems just for these. Because I, I could completely understand why the time investment, you're probably better off just using Kai's to level this guy up compared to uh, doing the other method, right? Because grinding incredible gems, you're going to need like, you know, like at least like 15 to 16,000. And I know that is like a lot of people do not have the time to do that. And I completely understand that. So keep that in mind. I do get it. And I would not blame you one bit if you did not do that. So we're going to be doing the lazy way in this video. But if you want to grind more incredible gems, you 100% can and you'll be good to go, right? Like don't, don't, don't feel any lesser of yourself if you decide to go with just using Kai's, right? Because I think honestly, just for your own like sanity, I think that's the safer way to go about it. So don't say I didn't tell you <laughs> that that's probably the better way to go about it. But I think for the sake of this video and for the sake of those watching and not being like overwhelmed with the amount of grinding you'll have to do, I, I think this is probably the way to go. So now what we want to do is fill in these hidden potential gems and then we will talk about the uh, nodes and then we will talk about the EZA in just a moment. So what we want to do is do this and now we want to fill all of these in. So, so far what we've needed to do is get 180 of the Supreme Kai Trial Stones. And then we, we put those into getting these copies of Vegito. Uh, you can buy either six or you can buy five, whatever you want. I would recommend you buy the six because then you have that the free like Kai's to throw in. It's not that many, but at least it's something, right? So what we're going to be doing, and this does hurt a little bit, uh, is just using Kai's. I think, I think for your, like, like I said, for the sake of the viewer, I think this is probably the better way to do it. Just because you, like, especially if you're someone that wants an LR fast, this is probably the way to go. So now what we want to do is awaken him and we'll, we'll worry about rainbowing, rainbowing him in a moment, but we'll just do this for now just to get him set up to where he needs to be. We could train him up and he's already a TUR. And now you can see right here, we can awaken him and then boom, bam, bop, you have your Vegito blue. So really not that bad, just a lot of incredible gem grinding, right? Like way more than like most people would be comfortable doing. So right here, I'm just going to use more Kai's and get him up to SA20. Again, a little bit taboo for not Dokkaning responsibly, but I think uh, you will just have a better time with the game if you do that. So now we are here at the EZA. What do we need to do? This part does require grinding. There's no way to get around this one either. So <laughs> what, we, what do we need to do? You might be asking. We need to do blue incredible gems. Now, thankfully, these ones are not as bad. Uh, we need 150 right here from this stage. Uh, from this one right here and then we have this one right here we're going to need uh 225 i believe the total number total sorry i can't talk the total number was uh 675 i believe it was because right here this is 300 this is 525 yeah so we're going to need 675 of these blue incredible gems now the best stage for blue incredible gems if i'm not mistaken if we go back to jp was 31 8 that's the one i used in my grinding video uh it should be a fight against raditz um so if we go right here we should be good to go. Yeah, so we have a fight against Raditz right here. We can just fully auto this, and we're going to want to replay this stage until we have about 675 of these. So, again, it's going to be another grind, but if you guys are familiar doing prime battles and stuff like that, uh, you should be good to go. So, we're not going to be easy aing him in this video in specific, but exactly what exactly you're going to need is 675. So, there we go. Uh, once you do that and you use Kai's, <laughs> you can go ahead and be good to go. But again, if you want to do this the full free-to-play method without using any Kai's, any of that, uh, you're just going to have to increase the amount that we're going to need, right? So rather than getting five copies of Vegito, we're going to need to get, you know, what, what is it, 29 copies of Vegito. And I just think for the price that they are, I, I just don't think it's worth it, right? Because from Incredible Gems, if you want to farm it up fully free to play, from the Incredible Gem shop, you're going to need 17,871 green Incredible Gems. And I don't know if most players are willing to grind that, right? So that is why I'm at least letting you know that it exists, but I don't think that's the smart way to do it, right? 
But if you want to buy them all from Incredible Gems for copy number one, you could also spend 10,878. So you're looking north of uh, 20, like 20 something thousand Incredible Gems. So I would not recommend you do that. I say just use Kai's and you'll be good to go. So there we have it. Uh, that is how you do Vegito Blue. Uh, just to recap, the first thing you want to do is get your copies from the Supreme Kai's Trial. I recommend doing Area 28, where you do the stages that have a link level in it, and then make sure you do 3 million damage in, a st in age, uh, stages 3, stages 5, and stages 8 of Area 28. And then you're going to have 180 total of those to buy the copies of Vegito. And then what we need to do is grind 7,000 Incredible Gems in order to get the 100 medals to Dokkan Awaken this Vegito fully to LR. And then what we need to do is get 675 blue Incredible Gems in order to farm up and max out uh, his, uh, what's it called, his EZA. And then just use Kai's to get the super attack up and you should be good to go. So there you have it. Once you've done everything in that regard, if you've done it fully free to play, if you've done it not fully free to play, that is fine. Your end result should be a Vegito that looks just like this, SA25. You can link level them if you'd like, all that fun stuff. But there we have it. That was the free to play Vegito blue grind. Uh, let me know down below if you guys are going to be doing this. I know it is a lot, uh, but I think all in all it is worth it because you are going to be getting a very fun and hype character that usually is not uh, relegated to the free to play realm. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's guide. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you are new. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.